Hello everybody and welcome back to Ocean WP tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create your own custom header, insert it into your WordPress website making use of my theme library. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to show you what a really good looking header looks like. This is something that I created. It's probably my best work ever. No, I'm joking. It probably isn't. But anyways, it gets the job done and I'll show you how to create something just like it. Okay, so within our header section over here, this is the header that we will be recreating. Okay, so it has a few components. It's got a, a site logo. It's got an icon box, another icon box, a button, a menu, as well as an Ajax search bar. Okay, so first things first is we need to head over to our dashboard. Okay, and within theme panel, okay, we have to select my library. Brilliant. So as you can see, I already have two header templates over here um, that I've created before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a third. So I'm going to go to my library, add new, and we're just going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this third version with a smiley face. Brilliant. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this, select publish, edit with Elementor, And as you can see, it's already by default pulling in our previous header, but that's because we haven't set up our Elementor page canvas yet. So all you need to do is head over to settings, go to page layout and choose Elementor canvas. Okay, and as you can see, we are now prompted with a blank slate. Awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up the structure for our um, header section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new section and I'm going to choose the box width to, let's say 1,200 pixels. And I'm also going to add a new column as well as another column, as well as another column. Right. So within this section over here, or oh, before we begin, I also want to make sure that all my columns are middle aligned. So just make sure that all your columns are middle aligned. This just helps with the spacing middle and middle again. So all four of them are middle and I'm just going to duplicate the section two and I'm going to delete two columns. Sorry, don't want that delete and delete so that over here, the menu will go and over there, our search bar, right? So for the logo, uh, I'm just going to go to image, select image, choose image, choose your image that you want to insert. And I'm going to left align it. I'm also going to give it a link. So a custom URL, you could say URL of your homepage. In this case, it is HTTPS header dash footer dot local. Okay, and that will redirect your users to the home page upon clicking on the logo. Right, in the next section, we have an icon box. I'm just going to drag and drop it over there. And I'm going to choose a framed style. Okay, and then what I'm also going to do is just align the icon to the left. And I'm going to give the heading unit 9 St. James street that looks pretty awesome okay and then under the description i'm just going to say visit us okay and don't worry about the styling we have to configure that in the next section which is the style section okay also with regards to the background color i'm going to make it the same green um as the previous header that i showed you so i'm just going to find the color code and it is 49665D for those of you that want to follow. However, I don't want to make the icon that color. I actually want to change the background color of this section. So make sure the section is highlighted, style, classic, and paste, and then just change the color of the icon to white. All right, brilliant. As well as the color of the content, just so that it's visible, the title to white, and the description to white too. Okay, 
So now let's play around with the styling. Under the styling tab, I'm just gonna change, reduce the size of the icon. That looks about right. And also reduce the spacing just to around about 14. And then under content, adjust the spacing there too, and make sure that that vertical alignment is middle. Brilliant. Now what I can do is I can copy this and I can paste that there too. And now we can change the value of that to a phone number. So plus four, four, eight, eight, nine, nine, seven, seven, eight, eight. Let's hope that's nobody's number. And then under the description, I'm going to say, call us. If I could spell. Awesome. And last thing we have to do is we have to change the icon library or change the icon to a map or location. And this one, icon library, call or phone. I'm just going to use that bad boy. Brilliant. So we have the basics of our navigation or our header section almost complete. And in this section, I'm going to search for a button. And I'm just going to make sure that it is right aligned. And under the styling or the text section, I'm going to say schedule a call. Okay. And over here, you can insert your link. I'm going to make it medium. And I'm going to select an icon of phone again. However, just a different one. So I like that one over there. Insert that. And I'm going to choose that it is placed after the content. I'm also going to increase the spacing between the but the icon and the text. And now we can head over to the styling size, the styling tab. And I'm going to make the background color completely transparent. Awesome. However, I'm going to give it a border type of solid of two pixels and a color of white. Uh, and we'll give it six pixels of border radius. That looks pretty sweet. However, we're not done yet. I also want to give it a cool hover animation. So upon hovering, I want to make it float upwards. Sorry, float. So if we hover over it, it floats to the top. I also want to change the background color. Um, or I also want to change the color of the text to the same color as the green upon hover. So you can see it disappears there and the background type to white. So if we hover over it, you can see there's a nice little transition or animation happening there. Okay, cool. And that leads us now to our second section of the navigation menu. In this section, I'm also just going to make the same color as the header top. So go to the color picker, color sampler, choose the color that you want and insert it. Okay. And now I also want a menu. So head over to the nav section of Ocean, the one that Ocean WP provides. Insert it in there. And as you can see, we have our menu. Now, please take note that this menu is set up within the dashboard, the WordPress dashboard under appearance and customize and menus or just appearance menus and make sure that the menu is set to main. So I'm just going to change the styling of this to white so that it's visible. Just like that. I also want to change the pixel size to 14. So it's just a little bit bigger, maybe 13. Okay. And let's add a cool, let's go back to the navigation. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay. Now in this section over here, we need to add an Ajax search bar. So this is what Ocean WP provides, and I'll go over the settings in this, just a second. So by default, it's got a um, transparent background. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to change the background to white and the color to black. So if we start typing, the text will be a dark black. Okay, and we're also going to change the content of that to type your query and dot, dot, dot. All right, and just another thing to take note is the source section uh, for the search bar filters through the relevant source of your page. So right now it's set through anything. So by default, it's going to search the whole page, your whole website for any documentation that are related to your keywords. 
All right, so say for instance, I had, I only wanted uh, the search bar to be allowed to sort, you know, filter through posts. Then you select posts or pages, then you would select pages and landing pages and so on. However, if you had any custom post queries or custom post types, such as portfolio items, team members, you know, FAQs, then that would automatically pop up there. So that's a brilliant feature to have. It's really awesome. I love it. I use it all the time. Okay, and for right now, I'm just gonna select it by default and select any. And I'm also just gonna change the border radius of this to six pixels. There we go. That looks pretty cool. However, I also wanna add some styling over here. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm also gonna change the background completely so that we can distinguish the difference between the previous header and this header. So under style tab, I'm just going to go to, let's make it this green color. Copy it over here, style green. Okay. Now we obviously can't see the navigation or the logo that much, but that's okay. So, however, I also want to add a cool effect here, a border, a top border. So I'm going to select border type, top and link them all two pixels and we'll make it slightly transparent just so that it's slightly visible. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update this. I'm gonna head back over to my dashboard. Actually, I'm gonna leave this open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that, open it up in a new page. It's taking me back to the dashboard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this to view the site. And as you can see, we still have the default menu available to us, okay? And, or the one that I created earlier. And I'm gonna select customize. And we're gonna head over to header section over here. Just wait for it to finish loading. Header, general section. Make sure that custom header is selected. And under the select a template section, I'm going to choose my new created header, which is called the third version. And just like that, you can see that I've inserted my header, my, my navigation bar, and it looks really cool. However, we're not done just yet. What we need to do um, is I also need to show you that there's a way to make this sticky. So if a user scrolls down, okay, then the navigation would appear to the top or stay sticky. Right, so there's one way that we can do this within the customizer, and that's by having the sticky header uh, plugin installed on your WordPress site. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is select sticky header. And right now it's set to manual. However, I'm also going to set, set it to sticky. And what this should do is keep everything sticky to the top. Okay, and over here you can play around with the default settings for mobile and so on and so forth. However, what if we didn't want to have this whole section sticky? Okay, there is a way that we can bypass this. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to head back over to our Elementor page. And say for instance, I just wanted to have this section sticky upon scrolling down and then this section to disappear. So make sure that we've selected the section, the little Rubik's cube, cube icon, go to advanced and under CSS classes, type in OWP for, I mean, hyphen sticky. Okay, just like that, I'm going to update this I'm going to just publish this right now. Okay, it's still, everything is still sticky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to reload this. Head back over to sticky header. And once it's loaded, we select manual. Okay, and what this is going to do, it's only going to make one section of it sticky. So wait for the magic, here it comes, boom. Just like that, we have set one section of the navigation menu to remain sticky at the top of the viewport. All right, and same thing goes for this. If we wanted to have this section sticky, all we do is we, we remove this Ocean W sticky class from this section and add it to this section. So advanced CSS classes, control V and update. I'm gonna publish that now. I'm going to reload this. And 
Just like that, the top section of the header is now sticky. All right, guys, that's everything for me for today's video. Stay tuned for more videos and like and subscribe. Thank you.